Guys, make no mistake about it. When cities are run by Democrats, crime is going to be out of control. That is what the data says. Now, I believe that uh, 30 out of the top 27 crime written cities are run by Democrats. But yet and still, people complain about the crime, but yet they still go out there and they vote the same way. Now, look at Chicago. Chicago is a dumpster fire and a Lori Lightfoot may not win her re-election, but what does it really matter? Those people are actually going to go out there and continue to vote Democrat and nothing's going to change. Nothing is going to change. Now, look at Portland. Portland is a dumpster fire. Antifa has run amok over there and crime is just completely out of control. And by the way, guys, Portland, they defunded their police. You know why? Because police are bad doing the whole George Floyd thing. Now, before we get into this story here, check this out. Just one year after defund the police cuts, because they did, Portland mayor calls for a big budget increase. Portland mayor uh, Ted Wheeler wants to increase the police bureau's staffing numbers by 300 officers. Yeah, because you want to know why? Crime went up. It went up. But still, if they actually did um, increase their police budget, I'm not really sure. Crime is still really bad over there. It is really, really bad in Portland and Nike. Nike, they're losing money. That actually had to shut down the store because crime was so bad. Look here. Nike bids Portland mayor for police protection to reopen shuttered community store. Play with retail theft. Yeah. Let's read this, guys. On February 9th. Nike sent a letter to Portland Mayor Ted Wheeler and city officials asking for more police at their MLK community store, Martin Luther King store. Man, MLK would be turning his grade grave right now if he actually knew what was going on over there in Portland. But anyway, which has been closed for months because of ongoing retail theft. But the shoe brand even proposing to pay law enforcement directly if it would bring them the protection they are requesting. Now, it's kind of funny, guys. Uh, Democrat run cities, uh, Democrats uh, actually don't want the, their people protected. But corporations, when it actually hits them, oh, yeah, they want protection in. Um, it says here, according to KGW8, Nike proposed two options. The company was open to creating an intergovernmental agreement with the city of Portland to directly fund full-time police officers who would be selected to police the store. A second option would be to pay off-duty police, Portland Police Bureau officers as contracted security. Man, now to me, if I'm a Portland police officer, I want nothing to do with this. Nothing. Because what's going to happen over there? Portland is super-duper crazy, by the way. Let's say that the crime continues. And then a police officer actually has to stop a robbery in progress. And then they have to take out that gun and put somebody down. Guess what's going to happen? BLM, Antifa, they're going to riot. They're going to riot. Nothing is going to change. These people hate the police so much. They're willing to let businesses just go under, even though a police officer is actually doing his job. Make no mistake about it. If I'm a police officer. Nah, I'm not doing this. That's just me. I'm not doing this. According to the Oregonian, Nike released a statement that said, quote, because a safe and secure workplace is essential for our employees, customers and communities. We have proposed a a sustained and coordinated partnership with the city to better protect employees, consumers and the community surrounding our MLK community store. Sarah Sarah uh, Minson Missa, Nike's uh, North American general manager and chief security officer Joe uh, Marcico said their company closed the MLK store, quote, in response to deteriorating public safety conditions and rapid escalation in retail theft. Yeah, the retail theft part right there, them losing money. Yeah, that's really why they shut it down. The letter sent to Wheeler and Portland officials said to date, the proposed solutions offered and current public safety situation did not leave any room for the store to reopen. 
leading to the company's new proposal. Nike said that under the new plan, they will continue to hire private security in addition to the police. They need both. That's really bad. Uh, the difference is that the private security contracted by the company is not legally allowed to intervene physically in a retail theft crime. Yeah, they can't do that. And, and essentially, guys, the security there is just Walmart greeters. Nothing more. Nothing more. So what's even the point of even having them there? Man, which is a common practice in American uh, retail stores. The police would have the power to detain and arrest individuals caught in the commission of a crime. The letter stated the company was, quote, at a critical juncture. And it is critical that one of these two models uh, be affected prior to May 1st, 2023. So only a few months away. Uh, the company said they were evaluating business decisions impacting retail operations and may not be able to reopen the store, which first opened in 1984. Man. Without the city agreeing to one of two proposals and 1984, you know, Nike was not the Nike that we know today. Not back in 1984. It wasn't until Michael Jordan hit the scene in 1984 that Nike actually took off. And became the bit brand that we actually knew today. Uh, Adidas, Converse, they were much more popular than Nike back then. But this store opened in 1984. Now they had to close it down because of crime. Yeah, that is crazy. Local news reports that Portland Community Safety Director Stephanie Howard said Nike's proposal was unlikely to move forward because of Portland Police Bureau staffing. <laughs> so over here. They needed 300 more police officers. Did that actually happen? But now they're saying over here in 2023, they don't have enough police. I mean, if you live in Portland, let, let us know what you think about that. Uh, quote, we already rely heavily on OT to reach minimum staffing levels for regular shifts. So there's no way we could provide dedicated officers to any businesses regardless of his uh, willingness to pay for the costs, Howard said. Howard added, resuming secondary employment might be possible eventually if we can clear the DT, D DPSST backlog, which is the largest hurdle to our restaffing efforts. The DPSST backlog refers to the lack of new police recruits in Portland who have passed the Department of Public Safety Standards and training. Now, over here in Texas, we're actually a constitutional carry state. So in Portland, of course, run by Democrats, of course, you're not going to have that. You know, you're not allowed to actually protect your property. Now, I believe that on uh, any business, they should be allowed to have armed security. And if somebody actually wants to rob, they should be able to make a citizen's arrest. I believe I've actually mentioned this in a video here o over in um, in uh, Cy Cypress, Texas, where I used to live at. There is a uh, pistol packing uh, young, not young, but um, independent business owner. He actually packs a pistol. He actually stopped a robbery in progress because he has a little trailer barbecue place. And he was able to pull out his pistol and arrest a man, made a citizen's arrest. He actually made the news. I don't believe they would actually go for something like that in Portland. But hey, this is what happens, man, when you elect Democrats. You just can't protect yourself. And of course, you know, they don't like police. They don't have enough police. And the police are saying, hey, we don't have enough people anyway for this. Go figure. I guess this door may never reopen. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white network fans. Let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And we'll catch you next time.